All right, welcome to the long drive. I just got started here, and I have my controller set up so I can kind of ease into these turns and slowly look down and slowly look up. I got parking brake. If it'll actually engage, I just have space for. I got a clutch pedal. ease into that. I don't have all the controls mapped to my controller right now. It's just some of them. You know, the important stuff like driving. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this or just roll with it for now. But uh, yeah, it's a thing. I can do it. The controller is a little twitchy. Like, really twitchy. I got to get used to it. But at least I got like I can I can ease off the gas instead of just having it nailed. Right now it's to the floor, but since we're going up a slight hill, I need all the gas I can get. So yeah, controller sensitivity is oh bunny. Well, I'm just sorry you were in my way. I probably got to go into the windows and change the controller sensitivity to dial it back to some because it's like. I don't know my own strength. Yep, not sure I'm going to keep it like this. I might just keep using keyboard and mouse like a peasant, but it's fine. Ideally, I'd throw in my wheel and pedal kit, but that's a lot of space to take up for that. And I'm not sure I want to devote the time to do it, but you can play this with the controller. It's an Ursat's Xbox controller I got. You see I'm letting off the gas a little bit, stay off red line. <coughs> yeah, it's like kinda cool. Now I can just pop into third person mode. I don't have a button on the controller to pop into third person mode. Ideally at wait whoa 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 come on come on now come on now just a little bit yeah, it's almost like it's too sensitive. You can do small movements with it, but I'm just not used to how much controller input I actually need to, to, to do. So I'm just sawing at that wheel. I almost like it better in this view because I can see the steering wheel and, you know, get some sense of feedback on, on it. Doesn't have a lot of dead space. It's like okay, you can barely move the controller and you barely move the wheel, and then you just move a little bit. And zzz, it just like yep, full over. <laughs> it's like no, I kind of want a middle ground where. I I want some steering input, but not a whole lot. It's very sensitive. <clears throat> I can't imagine trying to drive a car for real with your controller slaved into your uh, power steering that would be bad You'd be flinging yourself all over the car and you don't even have a wheel to grab onto you just got a controller that would be not fun <coughs> with today's modern cars with all the electric electric drive-by wire systems you could totally control a car with a controller you just need to tell the car what to do with those inputs instead of getting to normal inputs Alright, you know what? Pause. <laughs> I'm I'm not used to that. I'm gonna wreck my car. It's not gonna be fun. Alright, so now it takes time when you do the controller input on the keyboard to actually fling the controller way over. So the controller is like, oh you want it over on like, you know, to the left or right lock right now? No problem. And it just sends it. This at least kinda narrows it down some. Anything cool here? Nope. Ignoring it. So yeah, what are we sitting at? Well, almost 1800 kilometers on this odometer and I have 150 on the Volkswagen bus or bug that I started with, so we're almost at 2000 kilometers. Maybe I'll put some mileage in today and we'll get there. Looks like we've got a nice downhill run here. Now I could exchange 
time for ground, I could say, hey, guess what? I can see where the road is. Do I need to follow the road? No, I can just go like this. And just blitz across the desert and not worry about staying directly on a, the same course as the road. Oh, there's something out here. What is that? Any coal going to spawn in there? That was unexpected boon. Nope. Nothing. So I just shaved some time off my... I shaved some distance off my route. Looks like there's a building up there. Ooh, what are you? Are you a diner? That's a haunted house, I think, up there. Cool. Alright, deviation time. What are you? You're... You look like a diner. Oh, perfect. They got a well hanging out there doing a bunch of nothing. That's cool. Yeah, there's probably... If you just gravitated towards the first building you saw you might not you might end up way off the road have to do a bunch of backtracking to get from point A to point B to get where you're supposed to be alright well something just broke don't sound like a toilet there's a bike hanging out there there's a car Okay. Uh, might as leave it open. It's just me out here. Roads off you out of way. It's fine. What do we got? We got some empty gas cans. Oh wait, I filled these up entirely. Oh, that's right, I did. I forgot. I got forty liters of gas. I got some diesel fuel. It doesn't want to mouse over. I got my premix that's completely full. I got this tank which is completely full. Spare hubcap because I keep losing. Excuse me, sir. They're just everywhere. I got a bucket of spray. We got some paint. We got some water. All right. Hey, guess what? I'm probably gonna need that over here. <coughs> oh, it's a hatchback. Hatched back with no radiator water. All right, well, I got, I got your, I got your radiator water right here. Hey, perfect. This will be full up with water. Nice. All right, let me just put you here. What do we got for oil? Nothing. What do we got for? We need a. We need to get this out of here. Rah. Where's the gas? Okay, fuel tank is there. Bunch of empty bottles. Oh, we got toboggan. AK mag. All right, I can scrub some of this body. This body's in terrible condition. Get out of here. Alright, so we got some... We've got some sunglasses. I think I'm wearing those sunglasses. What else we got? Ooh, we got sponge. Alright. Let's polish up this door panel. Polish up the body. Looks like that's about all I can do now. Eh, yeah, well, waste time on the hood. 
Oh, that's done. Huh. Didn't really sling that. I had it dialed all the way up and it said nope. Not doing it. Ooh, motorcycle tank in immaculate condition. That's full up on gas. Nice. Well, guess what? You're important. I need you here. I just need a little bit of uh, fuel and I can get this thing started and pushed out of here. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Oh, we got a uh, we got an AK with a full mag. Well, I can take that full mag. Oh, it got dark really quick. That's the issue of living near, near the desert. I, I like it how... <laughs> oh, more oil. Alright, cool. Let's finish topping the oil off. Not to be confused with Olaf. Alright, all I need now is some fuel. Check the diner out for some stuff. Crack you open. It's really dark. Alright. Got plastic princess. We got some spray. We got a keyboard. Alright, we got a lot of brushes in here. Well, I needed one of those. What else we got? Trash bin. That's right, this is rotted. And this door is rotted. Okay, get another sponge out here. Make this car look pretty. Okay. Can't really see too well out here, but uh, yeah. Oh, you're done. <coughs> All right. I keep hitting that button. All right, let's see if we got any... Oh, anything in here? <coughs> I just need a splash of gas. I don't need much. Fraction of a liter. Metal detector water. Yes. Right. This will get the engine running and then that'll be it. That's all I need it to do. Alright, so 39 liter tank, which means this is actually a little bit more efficient than the Barkus. Okay. Better lighting out here? Not really. I'm in shadows. Need a bit of a... Uh, it's this nice purple color. It's kind of cool. Excuse me, sir. Just rolling by here? Alright. Looks like I need to hit up a couple panels here. Make them look a little nicer. Yeah, we got extra sponge. Not a lot of spray bottles in here. 
Normally they give you a number of spray bottles, but this one they didn't. Alright, that looks pretty nice. Really? I used that one already? Jeez. Hey, it's one right here. Perfect. Okay. Got a nice shine on it now. I can hit this bumper up too. Yep. Okay. Kind of wanted to see if that bike is up there in decent condition. Oh wait, did I get this? It doesn't look quite as shiny as other panels, so let's go find another sponge. Is there still another sponge? There is. Perfect. Yep, 17 minutes into the 16 minutes into the stream, and all I've done to show for it. All right, can I polish that up? Wow, that that rear hatch just devoured that sponge. So I want to say this is one where you can dismount the seat. This is where I got the seat for the Barkus in the back. So yeah, she's, yeah, perfect. I think the only thing I didn't really mess with is the, his glove box, which is really kind of small, but it's fine. Okay. Not a lot of fuel in this guy, but I mean, there's not much in here to take. Anything down here? Well, that was it. That was, that was, that was all that was here. Not a lot of fuel. Normally you find a gas can or something. Oh, here we go. Double the capacity! Okay, let's paw through the side of the building here. Maybe there's some goodies. So oh, we got a something buried there in the sand. Soccer ball. Half a mag of AK. Oh, that was cool. Let's see about... Uh, oh. There's a bucket. Hey. Here you go. Perfect. Not gonna get you a lot of places, but hey, it's uh, better than nothing. Spare tire. Box of shotgun shells. Anything up here? Alcohol. Tire. Some food. Not much else. We'll just eat this off of the edge. <coughs> okay. Let's pick this up and we're going to make ourselves a ramp. Alright, can't see nothing. Uh, trash, more trash, some more trash. Be funny if those actually blew up if you threw them hard enough, but... Whoa, okay. Was there anything else? I don't think so. Nothing hiding out in here, some yucky green looking paint. Well, that looks like it was about it. All my containers are nice and empty. Well, I mean, I guess that's it. Where is the road here?
Where'd the road go? It's that way. Okay, I think we go this way. Check the compass. Yep. Slightly, kind of, sort of, maybe ish bit to the west. Perfect. There, I see the road. Yeah, we're doing alright. I don't think we're going to check that out. That's way over there. Oh, I forgot about the motorcycle, but oh well. I'm not too worried about it. Twenty-one minutes in and I've covered... Oh, that's a bunch of bumps. Almost 14 kilometers? Sure. Oh, maybe there's... Yeah, that's a haunted house. I can see the fence around it. And the trees trying to draw in, but they have, they're too far away right now. That's fine. It's alright. Yeah, I think I've just got really used to the keyboard and mouse. I'm, I'm, I might not ever bother using a controller again. What'll happen if I unplug it while recording? Oh, it didn't like that. I had to press down on the key again to get the inputs. Okay. Looks like all my controllers are in place. Oh, we are going right by the haunted house. Well, all right. I suppose. Normally, they're not this close to the road. You gotta kind of work at them. At least this particular seed. Although, I think the seed only deals with terrain generation. The seed doesn't determine what the buildings are going to be placed. That might be some other thing that does that. Yep, here's that artificial plateau that they make, so the lot sits on flat ground. Let's see, where is the fence? Where is the gate? Oh, something spawned in. Probably all the stuff that's in there. I've seen two vehicles spawn in here before. Hey, it's a Barkus. Alright. With wheels. <coughs> now, if this was not peaceful mode, there'd be dudes hanging out here. Oh. Okay, maybe we got a door with a window. Oh, I got a Volkswagen too. Sweet. Hiding out. Volkswagen truck. Hey! Alright. And it's a slider kind. I don't know if it has the, uh. It does have the wood paneling. A hey, score. I got a nice score now. Well, this door, I don't need it anymore. Ooh, we got a chrome mirror, too. Guess what? I needed that chrome mirror. Yep, we're changing out some pieces here. Make my stuff a little more primo. I just saw the thing for it. Uh, it's like I hear the noise for the... 
Oh, there it is. Alright, cool. It needs some help. It's not very clean. I need to polish that up some. Pre-adjust you. Pick you up. Put you on. Alright. I got a nicer door and I have... I mean, this is... So, alright, so the wood trim body, I've seen it now twice with the cargo variant. Okay, so... I need some cleaning supplies. Let's get the spun, uh, brush out. Let's get a sponge out. Let's get a bucket, bucket, bucket of spray out. Let's get my paint can out. All right. Okay. Yep. Okay. We'll expend the sponge trying to get this polished up real nice. Can I use it on the mirror? Will the mirror like it? Oh, it's already used up. Oh, perfect. Okay, we'll polish that up. Yep, that looks nice. And then we can just drop that in here. And now I can hit this. Turn this a nice rich gray color. <coughs> I'll just use the whole can. That'll make it easier. Alright, so now I need to find a, another another bottle of spray can. Hey, I'm in luck. Just hold down reload on here a bunch and I'll get that paint color. Fill this with paint. I mean, I don't anticipate needing to use this paint color again. I think I have all the body panels and stuff I want on this car, but in case I switch vehicles to another vehicle, I can I can I can, you know, get another great car going. There, perfect. Got all my hubcaps, I got windows all the way around. Yeah, buddy. All right. All right, let's turn our attention towards what this is. All right. I don't know if this needs diesel or what. Guess I'm going to find out. Well, well, that's not going to work very well. Now, come here, radiator. I got a mission for you. You're going to help us out. That didn't work. No, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Maybe I need a bucket for this instead. How much I got left in there? Ah, I got enough. Oh my gosh, really? It's not really working the way I want it to here. Well, fine. I got I got a solution for you. It's called bucket. I need an intermediate container that's not quite so unstable. 
me just here, just put you back in there. All right, perfect. The only reason why I'm able to do it. Well, okay. <laughs> Where'd it go? Is it still falling? It's out of fizz range now. Good grief. Oh, there it is. I got within fizz range again. Well, we're going to check that out. Boop. Oh, yeah, like everything exploded off of that thing. Wow. I have better luck getting this car. It just died. Is this my... Is that my hose? It is, isn't it? Well, I'm glad I have a spare. Holy cow. That was not cool. Yep. All the rim covers blew off. Like all of them. Well. I'm glad I have another spare hose. Yep. Yep, glad I had that, because uh, I'd be stuck. <coughs> well, let's see if I can walk through this without dying. Yep, okay, cool. Got some cleaning products. We got some other stuff. That's an odd spot for a... Uh, I don't like, door don't like clipping into that, but oh well. Got a chair there. Got some more stuff in here. Is there a light switch in here? Come on. Hook me up. Hmm. What do we got for questionable art? Firefly Forest. Okay. Cool. We have... Weird person sitting on a weird boat on a river. Okay. We got some questionable air conditioning. Oh, yes. We have um, the people who live under the stairs. I think it's a Wes Craven movie. The people who died under the stairs. Hey, perfect. Guess what? I lost one of these. I want another one. It's all just banging away. Okay. Perfect. I have a spare. Can I get you running? Sure can. Where is that oil can at that I found? I did find an oil can, right? It's under the stairs. I'm only running because it's faster and the house is like really large. Work lights, a couple goodies, some weird stuff. <clears throat> Nothing in. I don't think you can do anything with these. Nope. That would be cool. You go up to a drawer and it's like, ooh, you can interact with it and open that. Nice. Where did I see it? Oh, it's right here. Let's make a premix for this other Barkas because that car shouldn't explode everywhere. Well, that was it. So I can almost fill this tank up. I think what we'll do is since you know I need I need the gas anyway. And it's a bottle of premix, can of premix. Unlike the bats, the crows never go away.
Oh, I didn't check to see if the radiator in here has got water in it. If I really wanted to, I could just take this Marcus and go with it. Leave everything behind. But then I wouldn't have all the, uh, all the chocolate bars to give to Mom, so that would be kind of a bummer. Yeah, I didn't even check the radiator. Empty. Well, it's got gas in it. Let's go ahead and sleep. We're not going to waste more time with that Barkus there. I kind of don't like the haunted house. It's kind of wonky. It's kind of like, okay, I mean, it is what it is. I was just doing a number on my frame rate. All right, let's see what's missing on this on this truck. I can already tell we're missing some parts. Looks like the front tire's gone, engine's still there. We're missing a tire. Somehow it still has all the water in it. Going somersaulting through the air. Oh, it lost the hood. Hood's missing. Still has a nice tailgate. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Abandoned. Not messing with it. <coughs> it needs those smaller tire sizes. I only have the two white wall larger ones. Alright, let's get out of here. That was a kind of a waste of my time. 37 minutes in, I've gone 16 kilometers. Not very good headway today. I just had to, you know, mesh, mess with the glitchtastic VW truck. Whatever that thing is. Cadet, scout, whatever. I don't know, there's there's um I was I looked it up. I remember seeing the name for that thing and I forgot it. Oh, here comes the uh here comes the flying saucer. Don't usually see him in daytime. This is the second time I've seen him during the day hovering over the road. There's a mod you can download that makes them very unfriendly to you. Compass doesn't know what to make of that. Compass is doing weird things. Eventually the compass will just aim straight at the flying saucer. Yeah, see it's kind of aimed at the flying saucer now. Yep. And then boom, he's gone. He's taken off. He follows the road. And he's just out of here. More of an irritation than anything else because he just messes up all your electrical systems with the super strong magnetic field or whatever he's got going to levitate him off the road. And I'm sure that's what that's doing. Messes up the radio, messes up your electrical, messes up your magnet and your uh, your compass if you got one. And electromagnetism being basically two sides of the same coin. They're all linked together. It's kind of neat. Man, that first time you run into them though is you're like, what in the world is going on? But that's probably a huge deal why a, a, a tremendously large portion as to why the world is messed up and depopulated. Maybe they're looking for people to kidnap and they just kind of pass you over and you're like, wow, okay. I don't get to go with every, where everyone else went. I'm not even worth kidnapping at this point. 
<laughs> that's kind of that's not cool. Just trudging our way up this hill till we crest it. Here we go. Looks like we're not quite out of the woods yet with this hill. We go to the right, looks like it goes up the hill some more. We're not even doing 90. So yeah, checking buildings out for stuff and then hills. Not going to be very productive distance uh, episode here, but oh well. It's fine. So at least I've had a spare hose, and I found another hose. So that's that's important. I had forgotten when I first started to pick up the hose from the start, or I, I no, I lost it. It it glitched out or something, and I was stuck. When I was playing with my kiddo, we started at start, and uh, I forgot about the hose entirely. I was just worried about getting her in the car and, you know, figuring out who sits where and if she's going to be the DJ in charge of the radio or if that's going to be me. I think she took over radio duties. <clears throat> and I was like, oh, yeah, it'd be nice if I had a hose for siphoning. Nope. I had forgotten. Okay. One of these days I'm going to check out one of these giant rocks. I never really get too close to them. They're always some distance away from the road and I know there's nothing really notable about them. Who knows, maybe you can climb them. Get a, get a bird's eye view of the landscape from way up there. Park at the base, go for a hike. Oh, more hills. Twenty four clicks, forty five forty four minutes. I think you're making better progress now. Of course if I wreck the car at this speed I'll be hurting. Nope, we're going to skip it. What time? Nothing spawned in there anyway, so it's fine. My mirror's messed up. Normally I don't get a chance to see my noggin, but today I do. Maybe it's because I'm going so fast, I don't know.
28, 45, 26. And hey, we're making up time now. Good thing about downhills, they let you cover ground quickly. If you can keep the car under control. That's always the problem, is you run across a rock and you don't have a lot of time to avoid it. Or you overcorrect a turn and you lose control and spin out. Go topsy-turvy all over the place. Alright, 30 clicks now at 46 minutes. Yeah, we're, we're making up the difference. <clears throat> Looks like we're coming up on uphill sections here, so I'm going to lose some of my speed. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, that could have been bad. High speeds, even small bumps will just knock you for a loop. What we got? More downhill or are we mostly flat now? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Thirty-two forty-seven. Fifteen kilometers behind. That looks like a bridge building way out there. More to the left now. Oh, we've got 1,800 clicks. Okay, we're coming up 48 minutes and we've gone 34 clicks, which means we're 14 kilometers behind. Nothing spawned in there, we're going to skip it. In theory, if I do 120 the whole time, I can do two clicks in a minute. Which means I can make up the difference here in not too much time. Coming up on the 49 minute mark. We've gone 36 clicks, so we're 13 kilometers behind. Fortunately, I don't think there's a way to over-rev your engine in this game. Or I probably would have blown this engine up already at least once, if not more. Alright, 50 minute mark. And I'm at 38, so I'm only 12 kilometers behind now. Yeah, we're making up time. It's amazing what you can get done when you don't stop everywhere. That rock would have messed me up for sure. 
And unless I get a nice big hill to climb, that's going to kill all my progress. We're not going to get much further if that happens. I mean, we'll still be moving forward, just not quickly. Uh oh, I don't want to stop at that. What are you? You're a regular gas station, unless something cool spawns in there. I ain't worried about it. Nope. Just gonna skip it. Not much there. Plus, there's a hill here. Alright. 51 minutes, a little past that, gone 40. Well, now we're not going to get much further because I got issues trying to struggle up this hill. That's a rock right there. The advantage of going slow is you have all the time in the world to avoid stuff in front of you. So that's a plus. That's nice. Okay. 52 in 10 seconds. I'm going... I don't know what that says. 41? Don't know if I'll make 60 kilometers by the time I hit an hour. We'll see. I doubt it. I got 8 minutes to go and I got 19 clicks to do it. So, yeah. Not. I'd have to go at least 120 in order to cover that distance in time. And we're not doing that. So. Oh well. I probably sound like every dad ever who plans a long road trip from point A to point B on some vacation. We gotta hit the road by six, which means you gotta be up by like four in your pajamas in the kitchen waiting for mom to feed you breakfast while dad does the last minute things with the car so you can hit the road before sun up. Actually, I don't think growing up we did it quite like that. I know we had it early in the morning, but it wasn't that early. But yeah, they, mom and dad had sat down and figured out, okay, it's so much distance on this route, and you got the the paper maps out, because this is way before internet was a thing on cell phones. Yeah, imagine taking road trips and you don't have a phone. You got phone numbers and an address book that somebody kept on them, usually mom. And you had paper maps with all the exits marked off of which exit they needed to take and where we would like to stop for lunch when people start getting hungry and all that. There was no cell phone, there was no smartphones, no GPS, none of that. Paper maps. Had to know how to read them. Nothing spawned in, I'm skipping it. I got plenty of fuel, I don't need to stop everywhere. Alright, we're heading 140 now while under engine power, which is probably well past redlining on us, so I'll probably floating valves at this point. Let's see if I lose speed letting off. Eh, not really. Where we at? 55.13, I got in 46. That's eh, alright, I suppose. I 
I got a nine difference, but I only have five minutes to do the thing, so... We'll be close. So usually my parents took turns doing the navigator thing or the driving thing. I think my dad started and mom sat shotgun and navigated with the map. And us kids fought in the back seat until someone threatened to pull the car over and whoop our butts or whatever. <laughs> you know, let's take turns playing the quiet game. Or, you know, I spy with my little eye or whatever. And the problem with both my sister and I was that we would get car sick if we didn't keep our eyes on the road. Her more than me, and I would tease her about it mercilessly. Until Dad got upset with me making her throw up. Bap. We had had, we stopped somewhere, and I forget, but I remember, clearly remember seeing regurgitated SpaghettiOs. Yeah, she was not happy with me when that occurred. <laughs> um, I thought it was cool, until Dad, you know, tarred my hide for it. Because he paid money for those SpaghettiOs that she ate, and now it's all over the ground. Oops. All right, 57 minutes, and we're sitting at 50 clicks. If I'm lucky, I'll hit 50, you know, not this rate. I'll be lucky to hit 53 at this speed. 60, mile, 60 kilometers an hour, and I got three minutes, so that's a kilometer a minute. I got about three minutes left to go before I hit an hour mark. I mean, I'm probably still gonna go until I hit exactly 60 kilometers, it's whatever. I don't limit myself to exactly one hour's worth of recording, as you've probably noticed, but it's about an hour. <coughs> well, come on, car, we can do it. Did I wear you out? Are your piston rings just done? Have I scored the cylinder walls? Do I have a terrible lack of compression now? You can talk to me, Goose. What's going on here? No, I know exactly what's going on. It's a stupid hill. Just lay, bring up this hill. That's okay. Well, you go up a hill, you gotta come down one. It's not like we're scaling the Himalayas or something. That'd be fun. Have an altitude, al altimeter. Altimeter? Altimeter. Altitude gauge. Find out how, how like, high up you get elevation changes and all that. I mean, you could probably eyeball, like, oh, this much distance, this much angle for so much time would be, you know, so many hundreds or, you know, thousands of meters of elevation change. Well, we're just not going anywhere. All right. 59 minutes starting right now. And I've gone 50 two clicks. So I'm short. I'll be short by like seven kilometers. Yeah, that stupid bus truck thing that blew itself up into the sky. That was... I've never seen a vehicle do that before. It's cool. I'm glad I captured it. Alright, the last hurrah. I got 20 seconds left on my tr on my hour timer here. Alright, 53 clicks. Yep, 53 clicks and some change before I ran out of time. I can probably let off now at this point. Oh, we're stopping for that. Whoa. Did I lose something? Is that why I stopped so violently? Yeah, I did. I lost my sword. I saw how that fell out. 
I guess swords don't like Fizzlock. Looks like there's a motorcycle up there. That is worth checking out and stopping. And the crack of a new day, too. Sweet. I mean, I don't need... Do I need the sword? No. I want the sword. I also lost my... I also don't know where my crowbar went. Maybe I'll have to find another crowbar. Yeah, there's a, there's a, motor, a motorcycle sitting over there. Not much of anything note on the roof. Okay, that's a good stopping point. For the car, anyway. What do we got? What do we got? Gas and oil. Hey, you know what? She'll run. I don't have to do anything to this thing. It's not going to run great. Yeah, it looks all stylish there with the uh, stuff. Needs help. Needs a lot of work. Saddlebags. Kickstand time. Let's stay lit. I don't believe that thing's going to stay lit off the whole time. Okay. Oh, we got some goodies in here. What do we got? You can put a, another engine on those. They do funny things when you uh, run them like that. I got some water. I got a metal detector phasing through the wall there. Gas oil diesel mix. Kind of trash if you ask me. You can put bigger tires on it too. Big old thing of oil. I'm surprised that bike's still running, to be honest. Blood. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't care about your bucket of filth. Oh, uh, we got oil. Okay. I want to say this is a Trabant motor. This is quite a bit more powerful than the uh, thing I just replaced. And it's uh, air cooled. So I went from one cylinder or whatever that is to like, I don't know, a couple cylinders. Trabant motor upgrade. That's kind of fun. And I guess these engines are small enough, you can technically put them in your pocket, which is just bizarre. Yeah, so that's kind of cool, actually. It's kind of low on gas. Yep, insane motor swap complete. And then if I wanted to, I could swap in, I could swap in a better tire. Rah. Now these tires are, are the white wool stuff. Oops, knocked that over. What have we got? Oil, water, lots of water, gas. 
All right, well, I'm going to be greedy and take the gas from my car. I'm probably down some. Oh, yeah, we burned some up. Rah. That's fine. I have I have plenty more where that came from. I didn't mean to do that. Yep, I can burn some of this premix up out of this can. And then what I'll end up doing is I'll siphon from this to that to fill that back up again. And I still have another 40 liters of pure gas just sitting by. Yeah, yeah oops. Yeah, that's going to be a pain to not put that back on its side, on its wheels. What have we got? I had forgotten completely that I had pair of binoculars. Might be something over the below the hill there that I can't see. Looks like we go that way and then the road. I see some telephone poles over there. I mean really I can just head for that telephone pole and be done with it. Yeah and Floydy Rocks. Disembodied foot. So yeah I think that'll do it. Ah, uh, we do. We did 54 clicks in an hour and six minutes. Made up some good time. We'll see what we get next time we play this. And I'll talk to you all later. You'll have a good night.